Hey everyone, in today's Instagram video, I wanna show you the top seven settings on the Instagram app that you should change right now. And if you're new here, I post easy to follow Instagram videos every single week on this channel, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Let's jump into the Instagram app, and the very first thing you wanna do is turn on two-factor authentication. Let me show you how. Go to your profile page on Instagram, press the three lines here, and go to settings. And here we want to click on security. And right here you see two-factor authentication. Click that. And you want to turn on one of these options. The most common way people get hacked on Instagram is by people guessing your password. But if you turn this on, for example, if you turn on text message, every time you log into Instagram from a device that Instagram doesn't recognize, it will send you a text message to verify. You could also use authentication app, which is what Instagram recommends. So go ahead and try authentication app or the text message option here, but two-factor authentication. If there's anything you take away from this video is make sure that it's turned on. Next one is also in the same page and it's also related to security. But if you ever gave Instagram any permission from other apps, you should check and turn off the apps that you don't recognize. It's right here on the same page, the same page we turn on two-factor authentication. There's something called apps and websites. Click that and then look under active, click active. And if you see apps and websites here that have permission to access your Instagram and you don't remember giving them permission, turn them off right now, remove them right now. Or even if you do remember and you don't think it's giving you any good value, you should act, uh, deactivate them right now too. So make sure you do that next. Now this is for people that don't have a private account. If you have a private account on Instagram, this is not relevant to you. But if you're trying to grow your page on Instagram, you should change your account type. Let me show you how. Jump into your Instagram profile, press the three lines here and go to settings one more time. And on this page, you want to go to account. And on the bottom of the account page, if yours is set to personal, it makes it a little more difficult to grow and attract followers to your page. So what you wanna do here is change it to creator account, or you might also see business account. This one is about your notifications. I recommend you turn off notifications to live videos. For some reason, Instagram tends to show you every time someone goes live on Instagram and they notify you. This is on by default. But if you go to your profile and press the three dots here, go to settings and then go to notifications. You have a lot of options here, but one of them is you see live on IGTV. If you go to that section, you could actually turn off notification to live videos. See mine's turn on. So if I go to off, it's gonna be off. Now, every time someone goes live, I won't get notified. On my Instagram profile, especially on one that I have 60,000 plus followers, I get notified all the time about people going live because I follow a lot of people too on that page. So I make sure that's off. You could do the same for IGTV and other parts of Instagram if you want. Next one is updating the messenger or direct messages on Instagram. Facebook recently linked messenger on Facebook and Instagram messenger. So you could talk to anyone on Facebook and on Instagram and connect the two together. Except before you do it, I have to make sure you understand, you can't take this back. Right now, Instagram is letting you do that update manually, but if you don't wanna do it, watch my other video on what that update gets you. I'll put that in the description. Make sure you want it so you don't do this update because you cannot take it back. I know a lot of people were asking me on the other video to take it back, but you unfortunately can't. But to update, press the three lines on top, Go to settings and right there it says update messaging. If you click that, it shows you the new messages on Instagram and what all the different things you're gonna get on the Instagram app. Again, if you press this update, it's not gonna be something you could revert. So again, make sure you watch the other video. I just wanna make sure people don't update and then get upset that they can't go back to the old messenger, the old message platform. And press that settings icon on top. Press this right here. And it brings you to this page. And on this page, there's an option here. It says save to camera roll. I recommend you turn this on and save to archive. Make sure one of those at least is turned on. This way, every time you create an Instagram story post, it will automatically either save to your phone 
on Android, this will save to your gallery or it will save to the archive on Instagram. This way you won't ever lose an Instagram story post. Now, I know a lot of people get upset when they create a post, they post it, it disappears and it doesn't show up on their camera, in their gallery or in Instagram archive. So turn this on settings and then go to account and then go to cellular data use. Now, a lot of people that have a problem with their Instagram eating to their plan in their cell phone plan need to turn this on. This does reduce how fast Instagram loads, but if you don't have access to Wi-Fi and you're limited on your cell use, you should turn this on because then Instagram won't load all that information that it needs to, to really be at its best. But by turning this on, it will take a lot of the load off your data use. And that may be very helpful to a lot of people. I hope you found one of these useful and you could implement it. Let me know in the comment section. I'm curious which one you found the most useful that you're going to turn on right now. And again, make sure you subscribe for easy to follow Instagram video and other social media videos posted on this channel every single day. And I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.